from this into the deeper, higher levels. And that is why we find in the scriptures, people coming one line, Sariputta, here's one line from Asaji and um, he, you know, he gets it. And then others, you, Sambai Mati, you yeah, could yeah. talk to them, it doesn't, doesn't respond. Anybody off the street, yeah, some are ready after years of karmic development, some totally ready, some like the lotus flower will never get off the ground. So we, how do we approach that? <coughs> okay. And I go back to Anupubhikata. Uh, many times it says here, I'll read this, yeah, mm. it's from the Anupubhikata. And it's from the uh, Upali Sutra. Yeah. Then the Blessed One gave the householder, notice householder, not monk, uh, right? the, gave the householder progressive instruction. That is, talk on generosity, talk on virtue, talk on the heavens. He explained the danger of sensual pleasure and the blessing of renunciation. Notice, none of this talks about Paticca Samupada. Mm. None of this talks about the higher levels of uh, spiritual attainment. Just basically generosity. Now, if you are talking about an entry point, <coughs> most universal, what should hit anyone, even a hardcore gangster, yeah, would deep down inside of him have a sense of generosity, whatever generosity means, not just the ability to give. Yeah, there's so many ways of giving. So, all right. So, we are not talking about belief. We are not talking about what you have to do, what you don't have to do. Yeah, generosity in all its ramifications, different levels. When we are talking about an entry point, how can we invoke the spark? of generosity in people mm -hmm. and through that to interest them to come in and then ehi pasiko mm -hmm. when i give for whatever reason because it is a positive thing it has a positive psychological reaction on me that positiveness how do we push it but we don't leave that guy at generosity he has made an entry point this is something we must never for forget. No matter what our approach is, whatever we are doing, our final goal must never be lost. All right? We have brought him in, but we cannot leave him to stop a generation. So Nobu has to lead gradually from this into the deeper, higher levels. And that is why we find in the scriptures, people coming one line, Sariputta, Here's one line from Asaji and um, he, you know, he gets it. And then others, you, Sambai Mati, you yeah, could yeah. talk to them, it doesn't, doesn't respond. Maybe in a, another <coughs> life. Mm -hmm. And like the Buddha, we don't chase. We don't chase. Our product is precious. Mm -hmm. We are very proud of it. We are willing to share with it, but we are not going to sell it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just want to uh, maybe add a point. Yeah. You know, um, you talk about uh, using the Dharma as an entry point yes. uh, and the Buddha used a very good example of skillful means uh, yes. the gradual, gradual method you gradual know, the, method. the Buddha always advocated gradual method yes. right? the, the river, the Correct. ocean remember walking into the ocean Correct. Yes. when we started Nobu we mm. found an interesting phenomena mm. maybe I, I would like to share with you mm. you know initially I had the same thought with you mm. when we introduced uh, Dharma 2 yeah. of course we said okay put in Dharma we expect people to ask Dharma questions, mm. right? Mm. Obviously, we are, we are Buddhists, right? We do this. Now, when we started launching uh, Nobu, we found out when it was getting a bit better, not in not the initial months, maybe mm. down about three, four months down the road. People asking questions like, my cat have died. Mm. I feel so, very sad. Yes. Okay. Why? Now, we found out people were asking social questions. Yeah. They don't ask what is four noble right. truth? What is who is the Buddha? Right. Another question. Okay, well, some are very sensitive. That is why we kept the 
the, the people who ask questions anonymous. We don't know their identity. Mm. But we know who, what questions they ask. We save all their questions. Yeah. And we save all the answers. Questions like, I am a lesbian. Mm. Uh, do I break the precepts? Yeah. Now, these are entrants. You know? Yes. They have never asked these kind of questions before yes. to a monk or what? Maybe they, maybe they feel shy. The, the security of anonymity exactly, is exactly. respected. Yes. Now, when we analyze the Nobu's answers, yeah. right. uh, like I, the, the cat question about the cat died, yeah. Nobu was very... I was surprised uh, how, mm. no, how skillful he handled the mm. social, social situation. This, yeah. As you said, look around you, yeah. look at the suffering first. Yeah. Don't talk Dhamma yet. Okay? Yeah. Uh, so he says, when you hold on to something dear and when that something goes missing or is lost forever, yeah. Yeah. you feel an empty sense because you suddenly is no longer there. Yeah. It, uh, that, that thing has been filling your time all the time. Suddenly nothing fills your time anymore. Those empty times you feel because there's nothing for you to they engage anymore. You absolutely. Know? So when you have that sort of emptiness, you have this sense of loss. And sometimes if you are not skillful, we bring the, all the negative emotion out, you know, sadness, you know, uh, uh, grief, yeah. uh, mourning. The, the vacuum is ah, right. yeah. Exactly. Then after that, only later, okay, uh, when they ex try to explain the, 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 the rising of this grief, the rising of this, right. this loss, then started to insert Dharma into it. Right. Uh, this is the arising of suffering. Yeah. People ask real questions relating yeah. to their own pain. Pain. You get what I mean? Which is what matters. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Know? So when the noble relate that pain yeah. to the four noble truth, yes. oh, that was a connection. Yeah. And that's, later on, we, we track, we also track people, you know. Yeah. We started noticing that the question become more and more Dharma based. Less and less personal problem. Uh, Gradual. Uh, yeah. And so, it leads the, the, the <coughs> unknowingly, the questioner is because Norbu used a skillful means mm. of using a human experience, mm. explaining the arising of a human experience, and then go on later the cosmic significance of all of that. Fantastic. Rather than giving the cosmic first. Yeah, and then this I think is a great success. And don't forget, throughout the centuries, <laughs> this is what monks have been doing. It was a human experience of explaining how to cope with life, with this life, in the hope of a better life next. Mm -hmm. But it was a human to human. Now, with the coming of Norgo, we have the digital yeah, uh, uh, sort of support mm -hmm. of, of this. Yeah, but never forget that it is the emotional, the psychological. These are the areas. Do good, avoid evil, purify the mind, hold the mind, mm -hmm. and Nobu is doing that. So we, I, you know, I mean, this is a, a discovery even for us. You know, I never planned it. Never planned it at yeah. all. You know. Uh, yeah. So when, when people started uh, uh, engaging, I use the word engaging yeah. with a with a technology. I I, I call Nobu a technology, mm, right? It is, in yeah. that way, and this AI is able to respond in a way that has that has empathy, you know, and and fe people feel they feel it, you know. Mm. They say hey, somebody is beginning to understand me. Mm. That was the first point we noticed, you know. I give you the example the the lesbian issue, mm. right? Now, I remember a long time ago, late chief, when I asked him about, you know, those days already yeah, asked yeah, about gay lesbian, yeah, you know, yeah. I asked, you know, yeah. chief told me, he says, did Buddha say mention any gender yeah. in the sexual misconduct? You read the thing carefully. It mentioned two individuals. Absolutely. No male, male, no female, female, yeah, no male, yeah. female. Yes. It's a breaking of trust. Sex is an activity of the body. Yeah. yeah. It's between two yeah. individuals. Yes. I was shocked yeah. during those days. You know? <laughs> because that is the Dhamma is eternal. Exactly. Akalika. What was good <coughs> during the Buddha's time till today? And so when Norbu goes back, it goes back to this universe. Exactly. Truth. Yeah. yeah. So that lesbian lady yeah. was astounded. They never knew that there's that she never broke any precept, never knew. 
then only yeah. occurred to, to her why Taiwan and Thailand allow for same-sex marriage. Yeah. You know? Then, then she realized, wow, I didn't know the Buddha Dharma was so beautiful, you know? Now, I, I do not condone or accept or whatever, you know, I, I, we just uh, pass on this knowledge. Mm. It's your, your, yes. your, your, your right, your behavior, you know, we have nothing to say. Yeah. Correct or not? Yeah. But, but this sort of uh, teachings, I wouldn't say hidden uh, because the monks don't really teach yeah. this kind of thing yeah, to the they public. They try and avoid yeah, They try to avoid, the, you know. Yeah. So this is kind of things uh, that once you let go into the public, as people start discovering and they start sharing, you know. Yes. Right? Now, imagine the entrance to Dharma at that scale. Okay? Yes. All these people... Because it have... hits the heart exactly. strings. It Correct. hits the heart strings. And that is Dharma. 